Okay, this is uh, the next video on the bay window restoration and the uh, epoxy, solid epoxy is sanded. Uh, I let it, it harden for one day. It actually will harden over a period of weeks. It becomes easier to sand uh, with every additional day of hardening, but I can't wait that long. So after about 24 hours, I've sanded it because I want to get the paint on before it rains. And here in New England, it rains just about every other day now at this time of year. So I need to keep moving forward on this. Uh, it's sandable. It um, doesn't produce as nice a result because it clogs up the sandpaper because it's not super hard. When it's really hard, it sands into dust. Here it comes off and it's, it's not as good. But it's good enough for my purposes, okay? Um, it's just the windowsill. It's um, some spots where it's not flush. I would have liked it to have been flush, but it's not. But I'm going to go through with this anyway. Because of what I've seen in the past, this is good enough. The primer and the paint it tends to level it a little bit. Okay, and it's not a highly visible feature from the ground. I'm up on a ladder here. So now I'll go ahead, I'll hit pause, and I'll just put on some primer. You'll see that the primer helps to hide, of course, many of the imperfections because it's basically a white on white type thing. And from the ground, you, you don't really see any of these details. So let me just put the Okay, what I've been using for primer is this oil-based primer by Zinser. Uh, this is the north side of the house, and it c collects a lot of mildew and all sorts of other growth. So on this, I've added this Prevention Mildew Add 2. It's a kind of a pasty product. I was going to add some of it to the primer and add a little bit to my top coat, too. I thought it might come out as powder, but I forgot it's really just a liquid, so it's a little bit messy. Uh, it's supposed to cover one gallon. I put more than half of it in this, which is less than half a gallon, so this should be, have plenty in it, enough. And now I'll just go ahead and put a coat of that on. I'll use pause. Okay, I've painted the sill on this middle section of the picture window, and you can see there's still some imperfections. In the repair, I'm going to do two coats. I'm going to move the ladder over now and do that side, and then I'll go over and do that side. Okay, I did the right side, uh, so primed it. Um, that casing is undercut, so I can get the primer underneath that and get at the end grain of these um, casings which had been replaced on a previous repair. And also I undercut those little internal pieces for the same reason. When I, I can caulk that after I'm done, after I've got the paint in there, I don't like to leave it the way it was, where there was some rot underneath it, between the wood. Uh, there's a little imperfection. I didn't quite get that in there. Now I'll go down to the far side and finish up the uh, window sill. Okay, I just finished painting or priming the uh, far side. Now you can see the sections where there was a repair underneath. It do the profile doesn't match because uh, it's all filled in with now the, the wood, the woody pox. But that won't be visible. That's, that's not that important and it's not really visible from down beneath. Here's the corner that was previously essentially totally gone. Now it's reconstructed and uh, this window sill is completed. This is the first primer coat. I'm going to put on a second prime coat. Uh, on this case, previously when I had put the borate rods into the side of the sill, which I did not do this time, I used wood putty or the wood dough to fill those holes 
and uh, that was not a durable repair. Those, uh, that putty pushed out after several years. So this time I filled it with the epoxy, the wood epoxy, and I believe that will be more durable. When I put those in last time, I didn't do that at the same time I did the epox repair, and then rather than to mix up some more epoxy, I just took some wood dough, I drilled holes, put in the rods, and I just put some wood dough, uh, which was a mistake. Uh, now this should be more durable on the sill. Uh, this might be the end of this particular repair, or I might show a result after I finish another primer coat and a top coat, and possibly after I get the uh, the windows back in, just to, you know, just to give a finished look on it. And during daylight, how it appears from below, which I, I think it will be fine. I, I still, I need to paint the, um, this part of it. I haven't touched that part of it because I'm really focusing on the, on the window because I need to get it done before the rain sets in. And we might get a little rain in the overnight, but this should be fine. Uh, for that because one prime coat should seal the wood up. Okay, thanks, bye.